Republican requests immediate consideration of a Senate resolution congratulating Rhode Island native Billy Gilman on his singing career and finishing as runner-up on The Voice. There being no objection, will the clerk please read. Senate resolution congratulating Rhode Island native Billy Gilman on his singing career and finishing as runner-up on The Voice. Whereas William Wendell Gilman III, known professionally as Billy Gilman, was born on May 24, 1988 in Westerly, Rhode Island, the son of Francis Widmancy and William Wendell Gilman Jr. Billy was raised in the town of Richmond along with his younger brother Colin. And whereas Billy was a precocious youngster who loved singing from an early age. As a toddler, Billy would sing for friends and family using his toy karaoke machine, wowing them with his incredible voice and natural ability. By the age of five, Billy would delight in shopping with his mom at Westerly Supermarket and would stick his head inside the, frozen, uh, the door of the frozen food case and sing as if the echo would make him sound like he was on stage. He liked what he heard and he scribbled on the condensation of the glass door the words, now starring Billy Gilman. <laughs> And whereas Billy gave his first public performance on a stage at the age of seven. Billy Gilman later performed at the Washington County Fair in Richmond and other local fairgrounds in the New England area. Billy endeared himself to his audience as the little boy in a towering cowboy hat, possessing an amazingly big voice as he strutted around the stage. His grandmother, Ginger Woodmancy, realized that other people might delight in hearing the eight-year-old prodigy sing, and thus she contacted Angela Bakari, a westerly vocal coach and singer in her own right, to help manage his career. And whereas Billy was discovered at the age of nine by Ray Benson of Asleep at the Wheel, Billy went to Austin, Texas to work with Ray and made some demos of songs that Benson shopped around, taking him on the road with the Dixie Chicks and George Strait. Next were tours with Reba McIntyre, as well as performances with Tim McGraw and Martina McBride. And whereas Billy Gilman was later signed by Epic Records in Nashville, and by the age of 11, he had recorded a debut album titled One Voice. The title song from that album, also titled One Voice, went on to become a top 40 hit on the Billboard Hot 100 and, top, and a top 20 hit on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart in 2000. And whereas the memorable One Voice video shows Billy as a uh, on a school bus, going home from school while watching everything that goes on around him. Billy sang in his lyrics about the power of prayer. We need some help down here on earth. A thousand prayers, a million words. One voice, one simple word. Hearts know what to say. One dream can change the world. Keep believing. Billy was nominated that year for a Grammy Award for Best Male Country Vocal Performance, and at 11 years old was the youngest artist to ever have a top 40 single on the Billboard Country chart. And whereas Billy Gilman released a Christmas album in 2000 titled Classic Christmas, which went gold, followed, by, followed on May 8, 2001 by his second album, Dare to Dream, which was certified gold with the singles Elizabeth and She's My Girl, peaking at positions 50 and 56 respectively on the Billboard Country Music charts. After Dare to Dream, Billy's voice began to mature, forcing him temporarily to withdraw from singing. And whereas his final album for Epic was released on April 15, 2003, and was entitled Music Through Heart Songs, songs based on the poems of Maddie J.T. Stepanek. The tracks were based on the verse written by the child poet Maddie Stepanek, a young writer with muscular dystrophy who died in 2004, almost one year after the album's release. Billy then sing, uh, signed a contract with Image Entertainment in 2005 for the release of his fifth album, Everything and More. In 2006, a self-titled album, Billy Gilman, was released. And whereas in 2016, Billy Gilman auditioned for season 11 of the NBC television show, The Voice. In the blind audition broadcast on September 20, 2016, he sang the song, When We Were Young, by Adele, and achieved his goal of having all four judges turn their chairs to try to get him on their team of talented singers. Billy then began his quest to win the competition as a member of Team Adam, with Adam Levine as his coach and mentor. And whereas Billy Gilman continued to impress the judges in the early rounds with his flawless renditions of numerous songs, including The Show Must Go On by Queen, All I Ask by Adele, and Anyway by McTina McBride, earning a standing ovation from the public and all four judges after each performance, 
and advancing to the semifinals. And whereas in the semifinals, Billy Gilman earns another standing ovation from all four judges for his performance of I Surrender by Celine Dion, and his performance of the song was featured at number one on iTunes. In the finals, he performed My Way by Frank Sinatra, Bye Bye Love by the Everly Brothers as a duet with his coach and mentor Adam Levine, and closed out the competition with a rendition of his original song, Because of Me. And whereas in recognition of his extraordinary talent and beautiful singing voice, Billy Gilman was named the runner-up on the Voice Season 11 competition. Now, therefore, be it resolved that this Senate of the State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations hereby congratulates Rhode Island native Billy Gilman for his outstanding performance in the 2016 season of the television show The Voice. We wish him much continued success as a recording artist and look forward to seeing him perform in his home state of Rhode Island and across this great nation. And be it further resolved that the Secretary of State be and she is hereby authorized and directed to transmit a duly certified copy of this resolution to Mr. Billy Gilman. Senator Morgan. Thank you, Madam President and Honorable Senate. I have the distinct pleasure today to honor a Hope Valley native, Billy Gilman. I had a lot to say, but I think the resolution said it all. <laughs> um, Billy, I first met Billy at the Hope Valley Baptist Church, where he returned unexpectedly to sing with the child, the children's choir. Um, the whole church was, it was a huge surprise. Um, he continues to surprise audiences with his performances at the Washington County Fair. Um, despite his worldwide fame, Billy has never forgotten his down-home roots. Um, he is an anchor to our community. Billy, welcome to the Senate. We honor and welcome you home. We applaud. We applaud you. We applaud you for your continued success and determination. We all, all of us Americans, love Billy for his humility and generosity of spirit. Um, that he gives the world. Thank you, Billy, for coming. Senator Morgan Moose. What do I say? Senator Morgan. And I ask that we pass the resolution for Billy Gilman. Senator Morgan moves passage, seconded by Leader Algier, Leader Ruggiero, Senator Goodwin, Senator Kettle, Senator DuPont, Senator Gallo, Senator Cisnowski, Senator Casada, Senator Metz, Senator Miller, Senator Filag, Senator McCaffrey, Senator Satchel, Senator Archibald, Senator Lombardi, Senator Conley, Senator Calkin, Senator Coyne, Senator De Palma, Senator Chacon, Senator Cody, Senator Raptakis, Senator Palino, Senator G. Senator Sheehan, Senator oh, Senator Sheehan and Senator Lombardi. I guess I should say all those in favor, turn your chairs. <laughs> <laughs> all those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. <laughs> Madam President, Billy Gilman would like to I was say. just going to offer. Please, oh, no. <laughs> please. Wow, that's quite the honor. Um, at moments, it feels like an obituary, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I was getting a little nervous. Um, no, I, I have to say, there has not, uh, there's never been a time in my life where music wasn't there. There is no moment of me waking up one day and realizing I want to sing. It was, it was always there from birth. And... I solely go about my life with that one fact that I was to be a singer. And now as I get older, I realize that you can use it for so many amazing things uh, for the greater good. And I can't think of no better greater good than bringing it back to my home state of Rhode Island. Um, you gave me my start. You continue to let me spread my wings, and I hope that I can continue to make you proud for hopefully many, many years. They were very nice. They said matured voice, and he had to stop singing. They didn't say the horrible voice change. So Aww. thank you for that <laughs> Peter Brady thing. You know, uh, I'm very honored by this, and uh, hopefully I can continue to pay it forward and, and make you proud, like you've made me proud. So thank, thank you. you.